We have a warning tonight if you need a prescription filled before you head out to pick it up. Make sure you double check your pharmacy's hours. Local 12's Christian Hauser joins us with which pharmacies are making the changes to their hours and why. Christian? Yeah, Adam, we're talking about Walmart and CVS cutting their pharmacy hours, but they're joining Walgreens, which already reduced its hours. The companies say this all comes down to staffing, or well, actually a lack thereof. Starting in March, Walmart says it's going to cut pharmacy days by two hours and close at seven each night. CVS says it's going to cut or shift some hours at its pharmacies around the same time. Both companies say they just can't find enough people to work the pharmacy to stay open the current hours. Meanwhile, Walgreens made similar changes last year. UC has one of the oldest pharmacy schools in the nation. Kelly Eplin says enrollment in pharmacy schools nationwide has been dropping for the past decade after the job market became saturated. However, she says enrollment numbers are reversing course. As tragic um, as COVID has been globally and in our communities, uh, pharmacists have really you know, stepped it up and, and um, really established their, their vital role in public health. Eplin says seeing pharmacists on TV throughout the pandemic has really highlighted the career and is driving increased enrollments. How long until these newer students are able to get out there and kind of start replenishing uh, some of those positions? I see uh, an upward tick and a positive trajectory. Um, now, what that means, though, is that it's, you know, it's two to three years of pre-pharmacy prior to entering into the colleges of pharmacy. So, um, I do think that there are going to be some, you know, some a couple more lean years. Now, I also asked what the UC College of Pharmacy is doing to try and entice students to consider the program. Well, they tell me that it's going into local schools, some middle schools even, and presenting the program and explaining why this could be a great choice for students and showcasing all that a pharmacist can do to help within the community. But unfortunately, like you just heard there, it looks like it will be a few years before these students are able to increase enroll or increase the number of pharmacy techs and pharmacists when you go to get uh, your prescription filled. Adam, back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. Regarding the cuts, Walmart says in part, Walmart has a strong and incredible pharmacy team, and we are making this change to not only enhance their work-life balance, but also to maintain the best level of service for our customers. Meanwhile, a statement from CVS says, by adjusting hours in select stores this spring, CVS ensures our pharmacy teams are available to serve patients when they are most needed.